darling. Yes, that's right. It's Lilo me. That gal full of wit that makes you want to ship out to Guam. Elvira, mistress of the dark. A little sailor humor there. <laughs> and yes, by golly, we are shipping out this week here on Movie Macabre. Shipping out to that land of compact cars and sushi bars, of reptiles that fly and actors that can't keep their mouths in sync with what they're saying. Japan. The movie's called Gamera Super Monster. And if you think Godzilla was a killer, just wait till you lay eyes on Gammy, baby. Right after these words of worth from the advertisers, it's a lights Gamera action. Well, maybe you can forget the lights and, well, for that matter, forget the action too. But we do have Gamera, and he is one super duper monster, and he's coming your way right after, so stay glued, darling. We'll be right back. Will that be cash? No, I'll charge it. <laughs> yes, folks, another shocking scene here on Movie Macabre. She must have been using one of them little joy buzzers like you get from the joke store, you know? And take it from me, that chick is what you call bad sake. Bad sake. <laughs> you know, I thought this movie was supposed to be about some super monster, not about a bunch of super chicks. Well, so far the only monsters I've seen were them little kids in the schoolyard. Well, what the heck, <laughs> things have just gotten underway and I really did like that astronomy lecture there in the beginning. Oh, you know, that was Japan's answer to Carl Sagan, Carl Shogun. So we'll get back to that land of geisha girls and Malacca pearls right after these gems from the advertisers. And you were wondering what put Lionel Trains out of business. Boy, it sure was nice of him, though, to subtitle the movie like that when that big old mean monster first came on the screen. Only trouble was, they did the subtitles in Japanese. I mean, you needed one of them Berlitz dictionaries to figure out what it said. There is a general rule when you go to subtitle a movie. You do the subtitles in the language that most of the people watching actually speak. <laughs> oh, and if they ever gave an award for the best con job by a mother in a motion picture, it would have to go to the mother of that little brat with a Yamaha organ. I mean, she didn't want some smelly old turtle in the house. What would Papa-san say when he got home? So what'd she do? She conned him into setting it free, letting it go in the river. That's the problem. Too many turtles going in the river. Okay, I know you're all asking, where is Gamera when we really need him? When we return to that land of bonsai trees and Sony TVs, it's Gamera to the rescue. Trust me, I know these things. Well, so far it's Gamera 4, Monsters from Space Zip. This movie's moving. Elvira! Uh, Elvira! Uh, okay, okay, what, what? I can hear you. Elvira, you have failed again. What do you mean? This is a terrible movie. Oh, well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, it was either this one or E.T. goes to Harlem. I don't have Silence! much... Silence! This was your last chance, Elvira, and you blew it. Hey, let's not get personal, okay? I, you know, you I'm have failed for the last time, Elvira. Now take off the dress. No! No, no, no! No, no. no wait a minute, no! Just give me one more chance, okay? I mean, you gave that other girl another chance. Yeah, well, I had to. That was my sister-in-law. Oh. Well, well, look, just give me just give me one more chance and I'll get better movies. Do you promise to get better movies? Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, I promise. Okay, then. Later. <laughs> yeah, I promise I'll get better movies, sucker. I love to play with you, Mr. Turtle. But my stupid mom made me let you go. Soon you will be a giant monster and blow flames out your leg holes. The bad space woman has come. And you must save the Earth. Come on, sacrifice yourself. Yeah! Shake your booty, Gamera. Get down, Gamera. Open your mouth and burn them all to death. Everybody, open your mouth and burn them all to death. You know, all this movie needed to make it a really great movie would have been another fight scene between monsters. 
I mean, why quit after only eight or ten? Camera was just getting warmed up. Of course, it would have been curtains for that oversized walnut shell if them other monsters had used their heads and ganged up on him. But no, they just had to take him on one by one. Boy, it takes a devious mind like mine to figure out something like that, I guess. Well, listen, it is time for me to be a boogieing on out of here. I gotta get home and stoke up a fire just in case somebody tries shimmying down my chimney like last night. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, this, this big fellow with this red underwear on and a big old white beard. I just called the cops and had him hauled away. But why am I bothering you with my personal problems? Watch this. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm a bad space woman, and I didn't even look happy when Gamera won each time. So there. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> Unpleasant dream. Camera, I see him on the top. 